Hey guys, welcome to episode 12. I've had some boxes turn up in the post full of electrical bits. So I'm going to have a look inside and see if I can figure out what goes where and see if I can connect it all up. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, I'm going to be able to press the accelerator and get that motor spinning. And if I can do that, I'll be a happy man. That said, let's get making. just got back from the shop <clears throat> I went to buy these uh, some vents for the front of the car they'll fit on the wings one on each side and the other one is going to fit on the boot of the car that I made in the last episode I also got myself some of this mesh uh, I'm going to cut a piece of this out and I'm going to place it in here so it hides all the structure and when I got back from the shop, these had turned up. It's uh, it's the lights for the front of the car. They're orange, just like the original ones. 12 or 24 volt, which is great because it's this car's 24 volt. So today I'm going to try and get these fitted. In fact, today I'm going to try and get a lot done on the front of the car, like I did a lot done on the back of the car in the last episode. So I've got to cut a recess into this piece and then I can slot these in. I'm not quite sure how deep to do them yet, but I'll figure that out as I go along. Recess is cut for both of the front lights. I've drilled a small hole in each one so I can pass the wires through. But before I fit them, I've got to I've got to draw around here onto a new piece of wood so I can make uh, the front the front spoilers. I've got to do that for both sides. Okay, two boxes of electricity. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. A bit of foam. Ignition key. A chain. Speed controller. It's a sprocket adapter, but I'm not sure I'll be using that because this is this has got drive one way but not the other, which means you wouldn't be able to have reverse. What's this? Oh, accelerator pedal. Ah, that's an adapter for the sprocket, but again, I don't think I'll be using that. 
and last of all, the motor. And in this box, two batteries, two Lucas batteries. Dusty. Right. Where do we start? Whew. Just like when I build all my models, the bit that I don't like, the bit I like the least is the electrics. I mean, look at this. It's like spaghetti. No idea what all this is. And what does that mean? Charging point. There's one wire going to it. I mean, I'm no electrician, but I think you need two. But anyway, I don't know. Forget that for now. Let's work out what we do know. Uh, we've got an accelerator pedal with this on it. We've got one of these clips. It won't be that one. It's not that one. How many wires? Three wires. Right. One, two, three wires and one of them. And it's the only one that's that size. So if it's the only one that's that size, it must be that one. So that's that. Good. Next, the motor. Two wires, black and red. And although that one's black and red, it's the same connector, so it can't be that one. So it must be, that's got three wires. This has got two, so it must be this one. Okay, so far so good. Now then, judging by the thickness of these wires, these must come from the batteries. And there's no wires on the batteries. So I've got these connectors that came with it. And it looks like I'm going to have to solder some wires onto these spade connectors and fit them inside here. And then I'm going to test the motor. I'm going to clamp it down and test the motor. Okay, let's get on with that then. heavy duty wire on the batteries and joined it to my connector that connector has got to go to the speed controller which I'll be doing in a second there's the speed controller my foot pedal the ignition key and the motor have all been connected to the speed controller you can't really get it wrong um, because all the connectors are either different sizes or the opposite way around. So there's only one thing that each one connects to. I hope I've got it right. <laughs> I can't have got it wrong. No, I can't have got it wrong. So I, I, that's going to be good. I've also I put clamps onto the motor because if this thing starts spinning, I don't want it flying off everywhere. I'm a bit nervous, but um, let's see if it works. Oh my god, it works! 25.8 volts. 25.7. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, so, well, now I've got to test the motor. Here we go. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> Oh yes.
Fantastic. Turn it off. Nothing. Excellent, it works. Ho, ho, ho. Well, now I know everything works, I've just got to drill some holes for the wires and make some brackets to secure everything in place. And that includes making some sort of support for the motor to sit on. I've got the speed controller in position. I've got both of the batteries in position. They've got foam padding underneath and round the sides. And when the paint's dry on this, this is the front of the battery box. I'll put glue on this and this will hold all the batteries. They'll stop them rattling around, stop them making a noise, stop them getting damaged. Next thing I've got to do is make a support for the motor. So I've been having a think about it and I've got to weld a bracket together. I'm a bit tight on space. It'll mean I'll have to cut some slots into things, but I can't cut the slots until I've got the motor in position. Can't get the motor in position till I've made the bracket. So one thing leads to another. Anyway, it's getting a bit cold in my garage, so I'll do some welding and warm myself up. Well, I can't do any more now until the paint's dry. So it must be dinner time.